Hi, I'm Jessica from Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts, and today I'm going to talk about spinning with a six inch spindle. Now, for complete beginners, the purpose of a spindle is to add twist to fiber. This is what makes it hold together and creates yarn. If you see, when I turn the spindle around, it adds this to the leader yarn here, all this twist. <clears throat> now, for the spindle itself, the anatomy of a spindle, you have the whorl, which allows it to spin for a length of time. It adds weight to the spindle and uh, force behind the spin. You have the shaft that the whorl is attached to, and this is where you'll be storing your yarn as you spin it. And you have the hook. Not all spindles have hooks, but this one does. And last but not least is the leader yarn. This is what will start your spinning, and your spun yarn will basically follow the leader onto the shaft of the spindle. And now um, I'll introduce you to the other part of spinning, the wool. Here in my handy dandy pocket, I have some wool roving that's uh, probably made in a mill, but as you can see, it's all sort of bunched together like this. And I'll pull away a little bit and show you what twist does just by twisting it with my fingers. Let's pull out a little bit. Twisting it with my fingers, you see that's added that twist to it and it's now, I'm pulling on it really hard, it's holding it together. Now to begin spinning, we're gonna take this wool, we're gonna pull away a handful size chunk. This makes it easier to work with and this won't get in our way while we're spinning. I'm just gonna stuff that in my pocket. And another thing we'll do is like a string cheese We'll peel it down even smaller so there's not a whole lot to fuss with while we're working. Now the first thing you do is you take your spindle and your leader and uh, let it hang there for a bit and open up a hole in your leader yarn like so and take, let's see, take a little tuft of yarn and pull it through like so. And what I do is I fold it over so it, so it catches on itself. And what we'll do is we go down to our spindle and we spin it in a clockwise motion. That means it's going to the to the uh, to the right. Sorry. <laughs> and we'll we'll give it a good flick. And you see now that that has traveled up the leader yarn and into the wool. And now it's holding onto the leader yarn. Now, you can twist on so you have less to fuss with. Wrap it around so it's secure. And the easiest way is just to give it a flick, stop it with your hand, pull, and go up here and pull out more. This is called drafting. Drafting means you're pulling out a chunk of yarn, or a chunk of wool, excuse me, to a specific diameter to be spun so that the twist can travel up and hold it together. And you can keep doing this, just keep twisting it up, and basically you're parking it so the spindle doesn't go anywhere. And you can put the spindle under your arm or just hold it in your hand, whatever so that you can manipulate the yarn, or the wool, excuse me, and just pull it out to a certain, certain length and let that twist travel up. Um, you don't want the twist to travel all the way up into your bundle of fiber here because then it will be hard to draft and you'll end up with chunks. Like, well, that wasn't a very good example, but you get the drift. You'll end up with chunks in your in your new yarn that won't hold together very well. And you can, if you're 
spun yarn pulls apart, then it doesn't quite have enough twists. For example, this chunk here, if it pulls apart like this, it doesn't have enough twists to hold it together. Simply go back to your spindle, spin it again to add more until it doesn't pull anymore. If it has too much twist, let me see if I can give you an example here, it will um, start to look very, very shiny and it'll start to corkscrew here. You see where it's, it's just sort of going all crazy there. That's a little bit too much. All you have to do to solve that problem is park your spindle and pull out more fiber and let that extra twist travel up and create more yarn. And you'll find as you spin that you'll find the right um, happy medium for your yarn. What's enough twist and what's too too much or too little. When you've got a decent length that starts to become too much to handle, you just wind it on to your, to your spindle shaft here, sort of like a, a thread bobbin or whatever, and hook it up and start again. Once you get confident enough, you'll be able to do these two motions at once. The twisting of the spindle, you'll figure out how long the spindle will go for and you'll be able to draft out in the length of time that that spindle goes. Now this one's not spinning very long. But... And you'll know how much twist that spindle's putting into your fiber to hold it all together. And you just keep going like that until your spindle's full or you run out of fiber. Anyway, I have hope I hope this has been a helpful introduction to spinning on a small spindle. Uh, these are really handy because you can put them in your purse, put them in your pocket, or if you are like me and certain times you wear an apron, you can just put them in your apron pocket, pull it out, and spin. Uh, the only downside to a six inch spindle is it's very light, and so it will create a very small yarn. For a beginner, this might be more challenging because small yarn takes a lot more twist to hold together. As opposed to a bigger spindle, will create bulkier yarn, it'll hold together, which takes a lot less twist, and it'll hold together easier. The only problem with a bigger spindle, depending on what weight, is for a beginner, you may draft out too little and it'll drop more often than not. But um, if you get a hold of one of these spindles and that's what you have to learn with, I hope that this helps you on your beginner spinning journey. This, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts. And if you want to see more of the everyday fiber arts adventure, come join me on Facebook at Spinning Shadows Fiber Arts. Have a nice day.